The static electricity was caused inside the chamber by uh, the persons in there, they weren't properly grounded. Uh, they had static built up in them, and obviously that static was discharged onto something inside the chamber that was metal. Uh, the chambers were dusty inside, and that started a fire inside the chamber, which culminated in the, the entire chamber just going up in flames. And they weren't able to get them out in time. It, it was very awful. I mean, when you look at the pictures of both victims, a little boy, four years old, uh, his eyes were completely shut. You couldn't even see his eyes. His skin was burnt. I mean, he, he was in pain, and so was the grandmother. They, they suffered in there, and, and you know, they couldn't get any help. There was nobody around when this occurred. They tried yelling for help, and they couldn't. There was nobody there. I mean, you're locked up in this little mini submarine, and, and nobody around. And here you are, you're going in flames, and she's trying to protect them because she sees the flames, and, and she can't do anything about it, and there's nobody around to help. So, I mean, so we talk about gross negligence. Uh, both are going to be charged with aggravated manslaughter and manslaughter in the death of uh, the four-year-old and his grandmother.